<sighs> hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. I hope you brought your coffee. Or actually, a day like this, probably a cold one would be better. It's like 95 degrees outside. You can see what the dogs are doing. We're inside the shop in the air conditioning, and there's no way they're going outside today. This is what I've seen of them all day. Yeah, she knows we're talking about her now. Anyway, what I uh, wanted to talk about today is I want to show you an idea that I got. I found this plate on Amazon. I'll leave a link to all the stuff I talk about here. I'll have a link to them in the description so that if you want to check out any of these things. But what made this thing unusual is that it, it goes up to 7,000 uh, lumens, they say. And it only runs on 12 volts, and I think it, the maximum of 35 watts. So, and at 12 volts, that's about what it does. So, it looked like a pretty good light, and I thought, 7,000 lumens. Uh, but what else attracted me to it is that it also runs off a little remote. And this remote has a switch here, so I can, let's turn it on. Watch your, put your sunglasses on. There it is at 100% right now. And that thing is just, it's like having the sunlight. Woo! The thing is very bright. But it has three buttons here, right through here, that you can turn it down to 50% or even 25%. And even at 25%, this thing is still it's very, very bright. But it also has a plus and minus on the brightness. So I can actually turn this down and incrementally, and there it is at its finally at its lowest setting. And it's still, I'd say, I'd say that's about 350 lumens still. So it still makes for a nice, comfortable light, even at its lowest setting. And at its lowest setting, it's only pulling 130 milliamps. So that means that I could run this thing for, oh, wow. Uh, that would be eight times, eight times nine, 72 hours. So I could theoretically run this off of my nine amp battery for over 70 hours at its lowest setting and still be able to get some good light out of it. So, but the idea that it has such a span to go all the way from 300 lumens to 7,000 or anywhere in between, uh, I was quite impressed. And I thought I can make a light that runs off a of Ryobi battery that with that capability built in. I think that's something I would like to have in my shop. So anyway, so in order to make this thing, there's a couple of things you need to do it. You need a buck converter now this is a three amp buck converter um dc to dc it's an lm 2596 i got it off of amazon uh just put that number in there and you'll see a bunch of them come up i only i bought an eight pack of these for like twelve dollars i think it's a little more than that now in fact the place that i actually bought these says it's currently unavailable but it's out there in other uh, companies that are selling it so you should be able to get it somewhere without any problem but what you need is about a 3 amp buck converter because uh, you're going to reduce the voltage from 20 volts which is what the rail battery puts out uh, down to 12 because the light runs on 12 volts and 3 amps is, is the most amps that thing's going to pull at 12 volts so you should be fine with just something like this um, the only other thing you really need to make this thing then is one of these. This is the little battery clip that you can get from Ryobi. It's a 3000001044. And it clips down on top of the battery. And you've seen me make receptacles before, because obviously we're gonna have to make a receptacle on our box to be able to drop it down on our battery to make use of it. Uh, so, and this is really all you absolutely have to have. Now, I know some of you are thinking, well, what about a fuse? Um, I don't know that I'm really going to need to put a fuse on this. This thing is only like a dollar and a half, and the worst case scenario is this thing would, would damage, overload. And if it does, I'll just replace it, and then we'll maybe fuse it. But I don't think I really need to fuse it to begin with. I think it's an option. If you want to discuss that, just leave a comment, and I'll, I'll always listen to whatever, what all my viewers have to say. But at this point, I don't think I really need to even fuse it. And that's really all you need. The only other thing you need is scrap pieces around the shop to be able to make the receptacle and make the box that this thing would sit on. Now, the back of this is made of aluminum, and it's the it's really the heat sink. So when these things are going full blast, it gets a little warm on this thing. So you want to be careful when you encase it. I'm just going to encase it 
in a frame, like a picture frame type of thing. So the back is completely open still. And uh, that will be the basic frame for this, to hold this. And then this will mount onto my box where it, the box will sit down on the battery and this will be attached to it. And it'll be able to run from this position and I think I'll have it pivot to where it can go up and all the way this way. And the reason is, is that if you put it like this and turn it on, you can light up a whole room with 7,000 lumens. Or you can turn it this way and then use it as a flashlight directionally. Or you can turn it down and again, turn the light up and down based on what you need right over your workbench and get some really good direct lighting directly on what you're working on. So I think this is going to be a nice little light to have in my workshop and be able to make good use of it in a lot of different uh, areas so and I think it won't be too hard to make now that I have all the components that I need uh, now you know what's weird is that I got this this takes this in particular has to have its own battery and it takes that little cell that coin cell battery uh, the 2025 and I didn't have any and they don't it doesn't come with it who knew anyway so I ordered those from Amazon of course and they came in the other day but the reason I'm even mentioning this is this is the box this thing came in. That's all it was in there is this little plastic pillow, my battery pack, and it was sealed up just like that. It seems like such a waste for something so simple. Anyway, that's an Amazon thing. I just thought I'd mention it because I thought it was funny that this thing would come in such a humongous box. So... Yes, yes, yes. There you go. That's Annie. Looking for something to... Go on. Go lay down. Looking for something to chew on. I think that one's dead asleep now. So, <clears throat> anyway, if you turn this thing on, this is what I really like about it. Check this out. Let's turn this on. And now, it's on 100%. But I can turn it down to... It has three buttons crossed here in this one row. Turn that back off. It's pretty distracting. But it has three buttons here where I can turn it up to 100%, 50%, or 25. So if I turn it on, and if I want, I can turn it down to 50% or turn it down to 25%. So 25% of 7,000 lumens is what? A little over, um, over 2,000 lumens or whatever. Anyway, it can actually even go lower than that. Because right now, it's still pulling point it's pulling 660 milliamps at its at 25 percent and it's pulling right at 2.75 amps when it's fully on high on 100 percent but it also has a plus and minus bright button and if i continue tapping on that bright button i can turn this down now i'm only putting out uh, i'm only pulling 0.13 amps so 130 milliamps and when you look at it it's not near as bright now, but it's still fairly bright. I'd say that's a good 350, 400 lumens coming out of this thing. So imagine having a light. No, go lay down. Go on. Go lay down. Um, imagine having a light that you can go anywhere from 300 lumens up to 7,000 for your needs. And so I'm going to turn this into a little shop light that just plugs into a battery, one of my Ryobi batteries. And in order to do that... Whoops. In order to do that, you need the light. And I paid uh, on Amazon $17.5 to $18, somewhere in there, uh, which isn't too bad a price. Have you looked at the price of all kinds of flashlights from Ryobi? I haven't. I didn't see anything there for less than like 50 bucks on up. Whew. So I'll have maybe $22 wrapped up here in this one. And it'll be able to go from a 7,000 bright light all the way down to a 300 lumen bright light so I like that versatility plus if I mount it on my box so that it's facing up I can use it to light a whole room but also I'll have it on a pivot so that you can pivot it up and now you can take your box and turn it and directional shine it somewhere and I'll be able to turn it to where it goes down so I can set it on my workbench and I can actually then light up my workbench What did I do? Turn it off? Oh, yeah. Whoa. 
and I can actually control that light then right on my workbench to give me the right amount of light for anything I'm working on there. So I want this thing to be able to sit on there and then have it be able to pivot 180 degrees. I think that's all it really needs uh, to be versatile. And in order to make it, you only need a couple of strategic pieces. First, you got to have a way to plug the battery into the box. So this is a critical part that you need. This is the little battery clip that you get from Ryobi. And the number is a 30001044. Uh, that's the part number. If you put that part number in Google, you'll find all sorts of places where you can buy this little clip. And this is really all you need. So this will allow you to make a receptacle to be able to plug your battery in. If you want to know how to make a receptacle, I did do a couple of videos on that. I'll leave a link to at least one of them in the description so you can go review that to see how to make your own. I do that with a couple of pieces of thin plywood, the clip, and a piece of PVC that's heated up to a particular shape so that it'll slip down onto a Ryobi battery. Anyway, you go watch that, how it's built, and you'll see. The only other thing you really need is a little, a small buck converter. Now this thing won't pull any more than 3 amps, actually 2.75 amps at 12 volts. So as long as I set this to only 12 volts, it'll never pull 3 amps. It'll always be a little below, it'll always be below that. Anywhere from 130 milliamps up to 2.75 amps in that range. And so once you adjust this to have an output of 12 volts exactly, you can then wire everything up and you're ready to go. Now, there is one question everybody will probably thinking, and that is, do you need a fuse? If you want to put an inline fuse on this circuit also, you can do that. I don't think I'm really going to. I don't think you really need it, since this is the only real component of the unit. And if this thing blows because something goes wrong, it's a dollar and a half. And this is the only thing that can actually fail on the unit when you think about it, besides the light itself. So... I don't know that I really even need to fuse it. The on and off switch is built into this, so I don't need any kind of switching to turn it on and off. And that's all you need. So I just have to figure out how to box this in. And since this thing is an aluminum backing, which is the heat sink, um, the only thing I have to do is probably build some kind of picture frame so it's still open on the back, and then put this on a pivot, and put everything else in a small box to hold and I'll probably Velcro this on there so that the on and off switch will be right with it. Or you'll be able to pop it off and walk to the other side of the room and still turn it on and off if you want. Or turn it up and down as you need it from this. So, uh, I think this is going to make a nice little addition to a nice little shop light for around the house and in the shop. Um, if you have any ideas of how to make it better, just leave them in the comments. But I think that's about it. Uh, I did want to show you real quick that... This seems kind of strange, but when I ordered this, it did not come with the little battery for the for the remote control. And this takes that 2025 coin cell battery. Um, and I didn't have any, so I had to order some off of Amazon. And when I got them, this is the packet. And I've already taken one out and put it in there. But check this out. This is the box it came in. And I just thought this was hilarious. That you have this little tiny thing in there. The only other thing in there is a stack of pillows and that, and it's just sealed up. It just seems like such a waste. Anyway, when I saw this from Amazon, I thought, ah, I got to tell you about that. That's just, I see things from them all the time when I get their packages. Sometimes those things are just really put together horribly. So, but that's it. Uh, I think that's everything that's going on around here besides them. Uh, it's about 95 degrees outside. I don't know if you know that or not. Around here in Wisconsin, southern Wisconsin. Whew! Now that's pretty warm. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's some of you out there down south that are saying, 95? Ooh, no big deal. But whew! Here in Wisconsin, the only time we do the is when it's minus 20. That's no big deal. But 95? Yeah. Needless to say... It has a, it's having its toll on them. She's laying right here. The other one's laying right there. And this is the way they've been pretty much all day. <laughs> so they don't seem to like the heat much. And even though we're in air conditioning in here, they definitely are not going outside unless they have to. So it's either here or they run through and go into the house, it seems like, because it is air conditioned in there. Anyway, 
yeah, it's a hot summer day and summer's here. So be ready. Uh, but I think that's it. I'm going to put this together in the next few days when I get a finished product. I'll do a video on it so you can see all the features of it, how it works. Hopefully, I'll get something that works really well. But we shall see. If you have any questions or suggestions, just leave them in the comments. Uh, like always, I always read them all. Uh, if you learned something here or you like this video, hit that like button. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Mm. Most importantly, though, please come back again because I'm nowhere near done. Thanks, and we will see you again later. Bye.